why, why are we here today, Papa Taz Daz? Because it's my 80th birthday. Papa Taz Daz's 80th birthday today. Today. Put her on and... Well, I come to Tassie in 1964 to work at the Avatars out of Doolan Park. And one night I took a chap into town to meet his girlfriend and he, he had another girlfriend with her which I took home and ended up marry her, marrying her. And I guess that would have been <laughs> Diane. Diane, that was Diane, yes. And why, why are we here today, Papa Taz Daz? Because it's my 80th birthday. Papa Taz Daz's 80th birthday today. Today. We've been out for lunch. Had a beautiful lunch, nice big steak, big... Super schnitzel, super Papa schnitzel. Taz Daz had the super schnitzel. I couldn't eat your wish. I had the super schnitzel. I polished mine off. Yes. And we had a, I had a couple of pa uh, Cascade Blues. Yes. Cascade on the tap, which was really, really nice. And Papa Taz Daz had his sarsaparilla. Yes, yep. So anyway, back in 1964. Yes, I met this girl, lovely girl. And over the next few years, I was traveling around Australia by myself up with the job I was doing and coming yeah. back to Tassie a couple uh -huh. of times. So you came over here for work? For work, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Met this lovely lady. Yeah. And I come back later on to work again and kept, kept in touch with her. And then the last time I come back in 1970, uh, 1997. I'd be 96. 96? Yeah. Um, so 66? 76. 76. 76, yeah. First after I was born. Yeah. Must be 66, 67, yeah. Ah, 19, 60, because I'm born in 19, uh, Pop, the summer of 69. Papa's getting all mixed up anyway. Papa's <laughs> getting a bit mixed so up. So I come back and I worked up at Killapaddy. Which was a abattoir. Abattoir for in... about two and a half months at that Launceston. Oh, Launceston, yes. And Diane used to come up most weekends on the train on Fridays, and I yep. bring her home on the car on Sunday night. And then in October twenty eighth. October the twenty eighth. Do you remember that date specifically? Yeah, well, that was about five days ago, four days ago. Ah, yes, before that your was, birthday. That, was, that yep. was our marriage day. The day we got married. The day you got married. Yeah, in Hobart. Wow. And then we stayed here till about. I think it was about February, March next year, and then we went back to the mainland. And yep. Travelled around right on the mainland again. Went to Goulburn. We went here, there, and everywhere. Went to Goulburn where some silly bugger was born. <laughs> I won't point, but you know what I mean. Yes, I was born in New South Wales. Up born in Goulburn. In Goulburn. Yes. yes, that is my birth birthplace. I'm not a true Tasmanian. Oh, and we're was... both imports. The only true Tasmanians was Nathan, Mum, and yeah. Rolfus. Yeah, Nathan, Rolfus. But uh, he wouldn't sleep, and all I had to do when I came home from work was wheel him round the bloody block. Uh, I was a pain in the ass back then, and I'm a pain in the ass still now. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, halfway through the job, the chap that was working with me myself, we had a bit of a disagreement. Yeah. Over the job, so uh, I come back to Melbourne. Oh yeah. And uh, finished that with that company and started work with another company. Yep. And we went from there to. Um, Uncle Ben's, not Uncle Ben's, um, yeah, up to Wodonga where, we, where they make the cat food, we put in a big cooker there for the... Oh, the, oh, that's right, yeah, you used to work with the cat food. Yeah. You used to cook it in the can, didn't you? Always cooked in the can. Well, Always cooked yeah. in the can. Yeah, we went from there to what, through, um, yeah. Papa Taz Daz needs a siesta after his super schnitzel. <laughs> Went up to where they do fruit juice cordial. Oh, uh, not Mildura. No, no, at um, Orange. No, where's where's those black those people that go? go uh, Is this in New South Wales? Yeah, yeah. Griffith. Oh, up, Griffith. Yeah, up near Griffith. Ah. Where's the big fruit juice they used to? Have. Oh, fruit juice and... Yeah, juice the oranges and the lemons and make them into 
in the pulp, making the pulp. Ah. So with that trip, and then when we got to Melbourne, was living at the caravan park at Spring Bar. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, Diane had to go to hospital again for a little girl come along, Angela. So that's, uh, what did she call herself? I can't remember. Sissy Taz Daz. Sissy Taz Daz, yeah. yeah. Well, Sissy Taz Daz, Sissy Taz Daz, yeah. not Sissy. Yeah, so, so then that's, we, that's my sister, who was born in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah then we had a trip up to um, Wallingara, which is on the other side of, it's classed as Queensland, but the Avatar is okay. in, in New South Wales. Yep. Was up there for about three months with the four of us. Then we went back to Melbourne for a while. Then we went back up to um, all these travels. Yes, we went back up to Tenderfield. Tenderfield, yep. To do another job at Walling, no, not well, yeah, Wallingara. We had to put a new cooker and all that in at Wallingara. And then after all that trouble, it got to the age where Darren was going Taz, to Taz. Taz, Taz was going to school, so we. I had been told on one of the trips I read that if I was interested in a job at the abattoirs at uh, Bridgewater. Ah, so that's why you came back? Yeah. Giant, but Darren getting to age of five and... And I don't really remember any of that. So we had a discussion about it and I said to Diane, what do you want to do? She said, it's up to you. Yep. Wherever you want to go, I'll go with you. And I wow. said, well... I've got a job offer back in Tassie. Your yep. family's there. Uh, we we come back to Tassie and because all your all your side of the family is in Melbourne. Melbourne, yeah. Well, they were. Some of them are down in Tassie now. Yeah, yeah. But so yeah, the, the, so that was two thousand and that was ninety seventies. Two thousand and seventy three. Nineteen seventy three. Nineteen seventy three. We come back. So I would have been four then. Yeah, and then you, yep. next year was. Going to five. Ah, uh, yep. So then we bought, we got back here, bought a house up in Barossa Road. Oh, yep. Barossa uh, Road, I remember that in Glenorchy. Yeah. yeah. I worked at the Avatars for a few years and I had a bit of a disagreement with one of the boss's daughters. And oh, dear. So that I, was the end of that? That was the end of that. So that I, was at Bridgewater. Yeah. So I remember going up there with you to Bridgewater and all the. Because it's not there anymore, is it? It's all been turned into housing. No, no, the abattoirs are still there. Oh, but all with where the paddocks and that were no, all the... No, no, that's only in front of it. Oh, is it? Nothing on the abattoirs yet, no. Ah, uh, no. but I remember going up there and remember the smell. <laughs> it smelled yeah. like blood and bone. Yeah, well, that was part of it, yeah. Yeah. So Way back then, then. from there on, we travelled round Tassie a bit, went to yep. stock cars, Speedway. Oh, Speedway, the Bushy Park show every yeah, year. yeah. Um, Mum was involved with the football. The Lockie Football Club. Yeah, yeah loved the football. And it was her and her sister. Yep. Uh, yes, we did a bit, lot of travelling around. We, did, did a, yeah. uh, we went a trip to Brisbane for the Bicentennial. Yeah, I remember that. I didn't go for no, that one. No, Nathan and Angela. Because so. I was working then. Yeah. <coughs> and then, <coughs> then you, you forgot to mention your trip to Queenstown. That's when, they, when we got married. No, when somebody else was conceived. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> somebody called Rolfers came along. Yes, yes. We had a trip round to Queenstown. Was that it? You with us? No, I think you went around in the caravan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't there. Yeah, just the two of us. And yep. I was it was work. a little bit boring in Queenstown. I was working up at Smithton. And I come home this weekend, which is, we come home every weekend. And, and I thought, well, it's not going to be much of a weekend this weekend, you know what happens. So I come home Friday night and we get into bed and... Had a, Ooh, missus. Had a lovely night. Had a lovely night. <laughs> and next night I get into bed with the oh. wife. She said, I've got some news for you. I said, what's that? She said, I'm pregnant. And yeah. that was... That was the conception of Rolfus. Yes, and I said to her, that's bloody beautiful. I remember it was bloody beautiful, Dad. Yeah, yes. So from then on, we had another one in the family until... Your first true Tasmanian child. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, yes, yes. Yep. Yeah, just trying to think you could have been conceived in Tassie, but you wasn't. 
<laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> I'm just happy to have been conceived yeah. by you full stop, Papa Taz Taz. Yeah. So what do you think, turning 80, big milestone? Oh yes, well I'd be lucky to have two beautiful women in my life. And, and an three, awesome son. And three lovely children, so I can only be happy. <laughs> you're only saying that because you're in front of the camera. No, I'm not, no. Oh, I know, I'm only stirring you. But uh, just after Christmas, 92, you're 92. 92. We went out for a trip one day and the wife wasn't feeling too good and she'd been to the doctor. So yes. when, when we come back, I took her back down to the doctors and to find out what was wrong. And they said, well, we're still waiting on the results from the blood test. This was from the headaches. Yeah, so next morning I woke up to get up in bed and there's, poor old wife was in a coma. So I rang the doctors and they'd come up straight away and had a look, one look at her and sent her to the hospital. And a week later she died, so that was Unfortunate. one of the sorry points in my life. Yeah, it's a very sad moment in our yeah, life, yeah. the departure of yeah. my mum, who unfortunately had a brain tumour, wasn't it? Yeah. You're right there, Papa Taz, yeah, Taz yeah, you okay? I'm, yeah, I'm right there. Yeah, it was a very, yeah, she, very hard time in our lives. She had a brain tumour, they operated on it and got rid of the tumour, but was, four or four hours later they got back again. So I remember we used to always go and visit her and the nurses would always ask her what day it was and it was always the 30th of January, my birthday. No matter what day it was, to her it was my birthday. Yeah, it's a very sad moment, but yes, it's an unfortunate part of living. That's right, that's an unfortunate part of so, it. Then you went on and met your next lovely wife. Yes, yeah, so I was reading in the paper about had this place called um, Oasis Club. Uh, the Oasis Club? Yeah. So I rang up, I was working at the jail at the time, so I rang up and I said, yes, it's going to be down at Midway Point. Yep. On the Saturday night from 7.30, I said, thanks very much. And so on Saturday morning, I went to work the jail and reading yep. the paper and there's a message in there that the club had broken and separated. Oh, the Oasis Club. The Oasis Club and it's going yep. to be at, at uh, Alinga Street. Alinga I, Street, okay. But I didn't know the other one. Yep. I thought it was good. So I went on to Alinga Street and that's where I met the wife. It yep. was at her place and so. So that's Nana Taz Daz? Yes. And you've been with her ever since? Yeah, 27 years. 27 years? 26 years this year. 26 we'll years married to Nana Taz Daz? Yeah. And how long were you with mum, original mum for? 23. 23 years. Yeah, yeah 23, yeah. So what do you attribute your <laughs> amazing 80 year go milestone to? What do you put it down to in life? Any Ooh. tips or secrets or? Eat all your eggs and meat. <laughs> no, nothing really. Just, just live the way we did. Just live the way you want to live. Yeah. Be happy. Yeah, it was always happy. To Enjoy me. life while you've got it. Yeah. Yes, and with, with, with the new wife, we went for a trip around Australia for two and a half years. I was actually just reading the little bit that yeah. that Jan put, or Nana Tazdas put together, the trip. No, there's some books up there too. Isn't it? There's books and... And, uh, and then we had a... Trip to New Zealand for 28 days. Oh yes, I remember that. I was living in Queensland at that yeah. time. And then we come back from there and had seven days at Norfolk Island. Yeah, you went to Queensland, to New Zealand and back, and then back over to Norfolk Island, and then you came up and saw me in the caravan. Yes, we had a few trips in the caravan. and we had lots of trips in the caravan. We used to have lots of trips as children. <coughs> all around Tassie and as Dad said we'd go to the show, we'd go to the footy, we'd go to the, the speedway, we'd go to all yeah. the regatta and everything together so yeah. we were a really and still are a really close and amazing family I mm. think and it's all down to this amazing <laughs> man to my left right here, Papa Taz yes. Daz. An amazing yes. life. Yes, yes. And many more years to come. Yes, we've got a few more years yet, we hope. More um, cooking videos. Yeah. 
more story times. Yes, yes, we'll get some more stories out of us. And this Saturday we're going to be having a lovely meal, another lovely meal. Yes, we're going we're, to. We're not doing no super schnitzel this time. No. <laughs> I'm still struggling. I'm in struggle street after eating that super schnitzel. Mm. I'll, um, I'm going to put some photos up on my Instagram and I'll put a couple of photos up. We went and had some photos at the Cascade Brewery. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, where Dad used to work near the Cascade Brewery for Cascade, didn't you? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yep, so I he, did some work in the boiler at Cascade. He worked at the uh, the fruit juicing part of it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Which is no longer around, I don't think. I think it is, yeah. Think oh, it is, is yeah. it? They it's on still, the other side of the road. Oh, it's on the other side of the road. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. He's worked at many amazing places. Seen yes. a lot of amazing places, yes, haven't sure. you? Yes, yes, lots. Lots, lots, of lots, yeah. For the year 2000, he was sitting on a beach outside near Perth. Yes. Eating lobster. I was eating prawns, Jam was eating lobster. Oh, yep, you're like me, you prefer the prawns over the lobster. Yes, and we sat there, yep. and, we sat there and watched the, we'd be one of, nearly one of the last lot of people in Australia to see the sun go down. See the sun go down on we 1999. Right, we looked right out over the water, not a thing in sight but water and the sun. Wow, how and special is that? we just saw it go down into, into, the, into the water. So yeah. many amazing memories. Yeah. Yeah. So many amazing stories. Yes. Such an amazing life, Papa Taz Daz. Yes, yes. And I think yes. we're all so grateful, even those people just watching on YouTube, just to hear the memories, because I love it. I love being taken back to those days and going through the photo albums. And I've got pages upon pages of diary notes from my mum diane originally she would write everything down in her yeah. book yeah and yeah. i've got pages upon pages and i've got slides and everything at home and it's just an amazing amazing time to be celebrating papa taz daz's 80th birthday celebrations will be going all week <laughs> except for papa taz daz he was on the hard stuff today the sarsaparilla and yes. um yeah what made you give up the drink and that'll be our final little story well the wife kept pestering me about it so the got he was it. a bit of a he was a bit of a rowdy um drinker on the red wine weren't you sometimes sometimes yeah like everyone else yeah a few else. too many of the reds and it made the the blood get a little bit red <laughs> <laughs> made it boil a little bit every now and again Yes, you are. but how long's it been now? Five years. You know, five, five years, I think. It is, yeah. Five years without a drink. Yeah. Amazing. Anything else you want to say? No, uh, that's all for now. Thanks, so, thanks, Taz Daz. You can call me whatever you want, uh, Darren, Taz Daz, son, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much for spending this time with us. That's all right. And I said, we all really appreciate it. Those people that have only known you for a minute watching this video or whatever. An amazing insight into an amazing life. Yeah. Happy birthday, Papa Taz Daz. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy 80th. And many more to come. Thanks, mate. Thank you. And we'll see you all again I'm on sad. Saturday. We're going to plan to do a live stream from Papa Taz Daz's 80th birthday party. It's going to be pretty special. I'll be doing a speech. We're going to celebrate another day with the old man and about 30 other people. So stay tuned for that. I'll post some notes. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to drop a happy birthday to Papa Taz Daz. I'll pass them all on to him. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye. Bye. See you later. See ya.